Hi everybody! Today is updating time again. There are some updates um, for the plugins um, about these new menu things and automation. Some plugins have new features and there also is a new plugin. So let's have a look at the plugins that are included in the reverb bundle. Um, first of all we have the um, AC tram. Um, which has no special features, uh, didn't have special features before. It's just an info um, box which um, says um, which parameters can be automated. And um, for all the plugins, fine tune the knobs with shift, reset with command or control. The next plugin is um, the Lexicon 2, um, where you can now switch on and off the chorus effect uh, from the menu. You can um, show or hide uh, the um, algorithm settings here. And you have the info box, uh, which tells you which parameters can be automated in this plugin. And again, uh, the tip that the buttons, ambience, room, small, big, plate uh, over here um, are not presets. Um, they are um, knobs for um, changing the um, algorithm. And there's something new in the Lexicon plugin. I had some help. Let's see that in the info. I had help with the background graphics um, by um, Ariel Tavori and uh, thank you for that. Um, in the last video um, I told you that um, I wasn't really convinced of the background graphics and uh, they are not uh, 3D-ish enough for me. Uh, and he managed to um, yeah, somehow uh, render that from uh, 3D modeling software uh, and made new background graphics, which looks pretty nice, I think. And you can switch the graphics from the old to a brand new version. And you also have a dark mode. And you can uh, switch to white text um, from the menu. Um, you can um, change the FTL from here. Um, and of course you have the info or help box um, where you can now in this plugin uh, automate the parameters, um, the, the delay time or, or uh, reverb time the um, high pass filter, low pass filter, and the dry and wet amount. By the way, um, don't worry about the um, background graphics or graphics at all. Um, it's uh, just graphics, it's just cosmetic. The um, plugin uh, sound will not change. And for you um, to know um, why um, some of the plugins, especially the reverb plugins, are not fully automatable is because I didn't manage to um, get that done uh, without artifacts in the um, in the audio um, because of the buffering the plugins need to do. Um, I hope I'll fix that one day. Um, but for now, you can automate the parameters um, that are given in the info box. So now let's see what else do we have. Um, First of all, the new plugin. Um, this is the um, uh, NC76 as we know it. I didn't change that. Um, but um, there were a few people who told me they can't um, really compress their audio with that thing here. Um, even if they turn up the input all the way, um, they won't get that much compression uh, that they want. So I made a new version and this is the NC76B. And as you can see, it looks a bit different. Um, it is nearly the same plugin. Um, it is just um, compressing earlier. So you can use this version for um, audio material with lower levels. And here I had help um, with the graphics. Um, from the person who already helped with the graphics in some channel, who made the background graphics there. Um, and this was uh, our friendly Smurf from the forums. And now we can go over the other plugins um, that can be updated. I hope I don't forget one. And um, this is the Exciter um, plus Fat Bottom. 
which now also has a, um, a menu where you can solo um, the units, the fat bottom unit or the exciter unit. Um, and um, this plugin can be automated. And uh, here's a tip. Um, you can activate this solo from the menu and you can um, activate that by alt click the, um, the frequency button. I'm sorry, the frequency knob. And this plugin uh, update contains a bug fix um, because there were um, heavy audio glitches when uh, switching the um, presets. And uh, these presets don't really work. Well, let's just forget about these presets. But I fixed the glitches. The next plugin is the modulation plugin. It has a new feature. Um, well, it has a menu and is um, automatable. And the new feature is that you can now set your LFO from triangle to sinus and back. And that wasn't possible before. Then we have the um, preamp plugin, um, which, has, which doesn't have um, special features. And you can click here for um, for the info box and just says uh, it can be automated and fine tune and reset knobs as always. And last but not least, um, the tape recorder. And the tape recorder has got a facelift. Wow, look at this, isn't it beautiful? And this graphics is also made by our friendly Smurf. Well, at least the background graphics. <laughs> I still made the reels and I made the knobs. And also in the um, in the tape plugin, we have the um, menu button, but we have no special features here. So we only have the help uh, or the info field, um, which gives a bit of uh, information about the plugin so that these um, buttons here are no controls. Um, they are just cosmetic. And, um, and it explains um, what uh, knob has which function. And of course, this can be automated. So that's the updates for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins and bye bye.